Hi, I'm it's Ken Asterson, and this video is to try to explain better what priority is on the um, suggestion list. And the priority is attempt to construct a statistic showing which one are more probable, more likely to cause a shift. Not whether or not how much a shift it is. No, that's not the question. It is more likely to cause a shift of some measurable amount, hopefully. So, to understand it, let's just go in and we'll do a demo login. And we'll go to our six profiles. We have our samples here. And we'll pick one at random. Oh, let's take, um, blah, 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 blah. let's take this five one. And we'll just do a quick update here, just for safety's sake. And now we're going to go over to first changes to advance. Advance usually means we toss you a lot more information. Uh, more information can be good for some people because they like more information. It can become very confusing with other people because too much information overwhelms them especially those with chronic fatigue syndrome or long COVID or other cognitive impairment. So now we go over to change the microbiome and you see here we have a show suggestion links all over the place. Um, and what we are going to do is we are going to just do the standard box whisker suggestions. We're going to click this and we're going to get suggestions. So now we have 11 bacteria which are selected. And now over here we have citations, which is the studies involved. Let's take a look at the first one. And I'm going to, let's just open it. And we should have a new window there. And you see we have, how many? We have 26 studies here. So 26 studies indicated it will change some things. And the things it changes, are named and if you go back to the sample at the top and expand here we'll see what we are trying to change so this list here are only things which are in the picked list and we have the number of items and the number of studies there so that gives an indication so we could say that this is a <coughs> 26 priority because just 26 studies for it now, if we go back here and go down and take something near the bottom, like, for example, trachea mushroom, we click here. And we have just 10 items. So, this is a factor 10. One was 26 and one was 10. Except we just don't cite the number of studies. We also look at the magnitude of shift, which we want. So, if it's a bigger shift, we will give this particular combination more weight if it's a smaller shift we may give it less weight so we we take the list of studies and then for each one we look at how much we're trying to shift times the study and we also um, combine different ones with the same thing so we don't just we count, but we don't count linearly. We, the fact that we have three saying it will increase may only give a, a weight of two. More than one, it's only two. If we have 10, we may be up to three. So there is a, some fuzzy logic scaling of the number of studies indicating benefit. And now we see here, but you also will notice that there are less bacteria listed here than on the other one. And let's go back to the Retari and I'll put that up in the window. So we have, I think we have more bacteria. Yes, Colossia is cited here. I don't think it was, nope, it wasn't cited on that one. So the result is that the Retari, not only do we have more studies, but also it impacts more bacteria and we now adjust that furthermore by how much the shift is away from 
or desired level. And we also toss in, for good measure, how many of this particular bacteria. So we end up, um, those of you who are familiar with electricity, we roughly calculate the watts. We take the amperage times the voltage, so we get the watts. And here it is the percentile shift and the count, and we combine those to, to get a weighting factor, like the watts for this thing, times the number of studies, etc. So it's this combination of logic that is used to build a priority. Does active procedure where Terry works better than turkey tail mushroom? Actually, we don't know. All we know is one has more studies, and because they have more studies, they have a higher priority. And once hit a different bunch of bacteria than the other, and hence, is it better or not? Well, generally, impacting more bacteria in the right way is better, and the numbers reflect that. But again, it doesn't say it will resolve things better. All it says is it's more likely we have a greater probability of just altering your microbiome. Similar over here for something like Reservatol, or let's take a look at that one. And, whoops, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Let's say the citations button. And now we have the ones there, and we have 39, even more. And we now take a look at it, and again, even though we have three here, doesn't always gives you a measure of three. It may be 1.41 or it may be whatever, it depends on the number of times it's referenced it. And also, additional factor is, if the study referencing bacteria explicitly, it may have a value of 1. If it impacts the child or the parent, it may have a value of only 0.5. So that is additional factor. So the numbers for the priority is actually a fair amount of computation weighing in all of these dimensions. How much is the percentile shift? How many do you have? Is the study mentioning the bacteria explicitly or is it implicit because it's above or below in the bacteria hierarchy? So we take all of that and then we factor in by the number of studies. So it ends up being a reasonably long equation. And you can, of course, take the same information take a look and reconstruct your own algorithm if you want based on the information here. But that is the basic of what the what the called confidence here. And if we go over to basket consensus, we have the priority here. And the priority here is unscaled. When we are working with the direct suggestion, uh, we uh, got rid of it. Uh, we are scaling everything so the highest value is 1, and we go down from there. Again, that is a simplification. Here you have the actual real number, which is probably more direct, and you can go down and see things there, and work from there. This is basically um, it. That's how we determine the priority of it, or if you prefer the confidence. Confidence means I scaled it between minus 1 and positive 1, Priority simply gives me the raw number, and the raw number is a synthesis from the take numbers, which are actually what is used for the confidence, and the void numbers, and then we toss in the number of times it is suggested to take or suggested to avoid. So we do a bit of additional scaling to get a priority here. Again, generally it's the fact that we're not dealing with one number. We're dealing with about five, six, even ten different aspects of it and deriving a formula based on those 10 aspects and coming up with a single number, which for most people it's easier to use than four numbers here, or even more numbers, or going in and taking a look at all the studies involved and figuring out from there. Sure, you can do that, that's your choice. But in short, priority is nothing more than indicating the probability of something having a positive effect the more often it's reported in studies to have a positive effect, the greater weight we give it. If it's a single study, it's a low priority. It may work wonderful, but from a single study, we don't have a confidence that it will work. 
So they may be right, may be wrong. If we have 15 studies saying it shifts one way, we're going to be pretty confident that it will shift that way, simply because it's been effectively repeated 15 times, which means probably it is. Single study, uh, it could be a freak, or it could be because the study was done on a swine, or a, a rat, or a mouse, or a dog. Yes, veterinary studies are included because generally the microbiome reacts similarly across all mammals. Or it could be a study was done for somebody who had a particular condition. So it is that this condition causes people with type 1 diabetes to shift this way and, or have their shift that way and control. It doesn't shift there and we get into another level of complexity. Everything ends up increasingly complex. Okay, at this point in time, I will stop confusing you endlessly, but remember, priority is the raw numbers, confidence is scaled between one and minus one, and you can actually calculate the confidence from the numbers here if you all have one sample by simply calculating out everything. So we have 104 and 20 so that ends up being about a value of 80 we go down to the other end and we'll take 2 and 49 so the other end is sitting about 45 but we scale so the worst is minus 1 and the best is plus 1 and then scare everything from there so you won't go from positive to negative but in some cases the minus may be a little bit exaggerated so that is basically it